he's not that much interested or doesn't say much about the Iranian, uh, the Iranian side. And um, and I think for, you know, on, on, on sort of strategy and the background, social and economic conditions of the Middle East, uh, the Roman side and the Persian side, all of that is, uh, you know, drops out, out of the way because he was writing a biography. Peter Brown, of whom I'm sure you've heard, a great historian of late antiquity, who's uh, been in uh, the United States uh, since the uh, late 70s. And he's sort of the guru, the great guru of the subject. Um, Peter Brown, when he was at Oxford uh, uh, with uh, a colleague, Dmitry uh, Obolensky, uh, established what was called a further subject, title the Near East in the Age of Justinian and Muhammad. And from about, uh, from the early 70s, I began uh, uh, teaching this. And at its heart were, was the, the war between uh, uh, the great powers of the ancient world. So I was teaching it. And then I realized there was a certain amount to be done. And uh, about 30 years ago, I, the book began as a date list. <laughs> Is that what we find at the uh, beginning of your book with the, the, the timeline that you have? Is that is that what you started with? Uh, yes, but ex except the much shorter and full of errors. <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, so how does your book, The Last Great War of Antiquity, distinguish itself from other books on the subject? Uh, researching um, the contents of your book, uh, I come. I found out that there's not really much written on this particular event in uh, late antiquity between the Romans and the Persians. So, uh, with what else is out there, how does your book distinguish itself from the little that has been written? Well, basically, what has been written is either very general, so dealing with it in say fifty pages in in the course of a general history, um, or in one case, that of a retired, uh, I think he was a retired Greek general called Stratos, which means army, but maybe I'm, I'm imagining he was a retired <laughs> general, but he just strung together sort of uh, material he'd taken from the Chronicles without too much thinking. Mm -hmm. so, um, so it's either very general or without really much analysis or with a lot of analysis, but focused on particular episodes. Mm -hmm. So in my view, so I think there was no general uh, scholarly uh, uh, history of the whole 30 year uh, episode. Uh, so I think mine, mine is the first, the first okay, one. Okay, wow. Wow, that, that, I hope that inspires more uh, people, uh, insp inclines people to read your book, being that it's the first, because uh, you won't find anything like that. As uh, you've cited other books, uh, Walter uh, Kirgi, if I pronounce his last name right, uh, but he only focuses on one aspect of that situation, while yours, it encompasses the, the whole situation involving more than just a single side. Yes, indeed. And, and he's very focused on the, 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 the figure of the Emperor Heraclius. Uh, uh, there's a certain and a certain amount of conjecture in his, uh, as there has to be in his bi biography because of the the, the uh, dearth of sources. But um, he, he's not that much interested, or doesn't say much about the Iranian, uh, the Iranian side. And um, and I think for you know on 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 sort of strategy and the background, social and economic conditions of the Middle East. Uh, the Roman side and the Persian side, all of that is, uh, you know, drops out, out of the way because he was writing a biography.